Good evening, everyone. I'm Luke Notstein. The North Carolina State men's basketball team entered the day with a nine-game winning streak. Getting win number 10 in a row would have to come against the number one team in the country, the undefeated Duke Blue Devils. Let's go to the second half from Raleigh today. C.J. Leslie cannot connect, but Richard Howell there with one of his 18 rebounds and two of his 16 points. The Duke would hang tough with Seth Curry a few plays later, knocking down the triple from the wing. Curry had 22 points in this one, but the Blue Devils could not slow down Rodney Purvis. The hoop and the harm as NC State wins 84-76, and the talk after the game was about Richard Howell and his work on the boards. I told him after the game that that was a grown man game. You know, he 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 controlled the backboard and he made his mind up that he was going to get every rebound. You know, he's got a good face. He's never frazzled. He's just, he's always in control and he's powerful. Duke and State will play again on February 7th. The UNC Asheville men's basketball team returned to Kimmel Arena to host Radford today. The Bulldogs looking for their second win in the Big South Conference so far this season. First half, DJ Cunningham gets open down low and finishes with a big two-handed flush. Two of his four points, he also had 12 rebounds. A little bit later, Sam Hughes drives and misses, but John Wanunu, the rebound and the putback plus the foul, he had 19. UNC Asheville beats Radford 79-61. to Western Carolina hosting UNC Greensboro today. First half, James Sinclair showing off his athletic ability along the baseline. The stop and the go looking like a video game with the dunk. And Western Carolina wins 62-59. to oh man, We knew they were never going to go away. Man, We knew we had to keep fighting. We had to knock down shots. We didn't shoot very well this game. So we just had to suck it up on D. It puts us in a good, good spot. I know they're going to come after us, but we got to keep fighting, keep winning. It's really a terrific start for us, no question about it. But... You know, it, it can turn around in a hurry. So you just gotta, you know, just gotta be humble and and keep working and uh, you know keep trying to get the next one. Western improves to four and zero in conference play. They will play again on Monday against Elon. Meanwhile, eleven schools from around the area competing at the Buncombe County Swimming Championships. On the boys' side, Asheville claims the top spot, and on the girls' side, T.C. Robertson gets first place thanks to a record-setting performance by the 400-yard freestyle relay team. The T.C. Robertson girls wins the county championship for the tenth consecutive year. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, folks. We really appreciate it, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow night at six and eleven. Have a good one. Good night.